What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I wanted to talk about what motivated me to get into solar. And as the title slide says, it definitely wasn't a money decision. I've also had some people lately ask me more about my personal life, um, about my family, about uh, you know my job and some things like that. So I wanted to kind of give you some personal reasons why I got into this. We've talked about some financial reasons why solar makes sense. I know there's a lot of people or some very vocal people who say that it doesn't make any sense and I'm gonna ignore those people. I've already stated my case. It does make financial sense. So we'll skip that part and get into more of the personal reasons that led me to get started. And then I discovered the money savings later on. So for those who haven't figured it out, yes, LDS means Latter-day Saint or the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saint. I was born and raised Mormon. I'm a very devout Mormon. And so one of the things that my church teaches me is to be self-reliant. To me, self-reliance means that I can rely upon myself. I have the knowledge, the skills, the tools to be able to handle pretty much any situation that comes up. So that's why solar plays into that is if there was an emergency situation, I can rest assured that I have the skills and knowledge to be able to provide at least a minimum amount of power for my family to continue some semblance of normal life. So the first thing that attracted me to solar was the ability to provide power in an emergency. I live in Dallas area and I grew up in Oklahoma, so it's in Tornado Alley. There's always the threat of severe thunderstorms in the spring that bring tornadoes and can knock the power grid out for potentially days at a time. Also, in 2003, my family lived in Detroit when there was a widespread power outage that affected 55 million people in that area of the country and Canada and lasted for two days. So they were without power and that was quite an eye-opening experience for them. So the obvious answer to that, uh, some people may be thinking, well, just get a generator uh, that takes care of, it provides a lot more power, it's a lot more economical. Yeah, but there's, there's some significant drawbacks to that. In order for a generator to work in a power outage, you have to maintain it, make sure that it's in working condition, periodically starting it up and everything like that. You have to store fuel and then cycle through that fuel periodically because it goes bad within three to six months. And also generators are just loud and noisy and smelly. And so you've got to keep them outside away from your house and run extension cords and all that. So there are some, some drawbacks. But the major deciding factor for me between the two, between a generator and solar, is that solar is available almost every day. And so I wanted something that I could use when the, what, there wasn't a disaster um, for things like charge and power tools or uh, you know, powering my shed, things like that, that I could get use out of the device even when there wasn't a, an emergency, which is obviously rare. And then there's the unlikely event of a major disaster or a complete economic collapse or something like that. And I realize that that is very rare, but it has happened a few times in our country's history for, for short periods of time, like Hurricane Katrina, where there was, there was looting and things like that for a while. I didn't want to have a loud generator in my backyard advertising that someone was home and had things to steal. So for me, there's a certain level of freedom, there's a certain level of peace and comfort knowing that I have something not only that I can use here and there throughout the year for different things, but that also if I had to rely upon it, if the power grid were to go down, um, that I would have something to provide my family with the necessities of life. The ability to save money and make it a financial long-term investment obviously was a bonus and icing on the cake later. That wraps it up for this video. Thanks for watching. If you found this interesting or helpful and want to see more of my content, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.